Katie is off screen right now, but her and I uh, will be doing, uh, I, I might not do all the movements because I'm going to be running my, my mouth a lot. Um, but there's, 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 I think something to keep in mind with all this stuff when you're, when you're exercising with Katsu in general, the, the goal is not to be going to failure. The goal is not to be getting crazy sweaty and have a huge uh, inflammation response during this. And, and we're all dealing with it, right? This, this COVID-19 shelter in place, uh, um, whatever you want to call it. We don't want people to get after it so hard that they have a massive inflammation response in their body's immune function is compromised. We want to just help the body along with some gradual uh, appropriate exercise. Exercising from the inside out, uh, using your, uh, exercising your vascular system. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, Uh, first of all, everybody can hear John and see John uh, easily enough. If you could give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that would be helpful. Oh. Sure. When I'm out here in the, in the sun too, but for putting the bands on, I am going to go ahead. I think you guys can see this, yeah. So everybody puts the bands on a little bit differently. I'm gonna show you the way that I like to do it. I do it every day this way. Um, some people like to do it all while they're sitting down. For me, it's just so much easier to get them initially on when I'm sitting down. On snug while I'm standing there. Get them both on here. Got my cell phone chirping in the background. I'll put that on mute. I'm that guy. It's background noise here. Okay. Now, so the leg bands are on, right? But they're not on nearly tight enough. And how do we know if the leg bands are tight enough? I mean, my gosh, I can get, I can get my whole hand through there. <laughs> they're not nearly tight enough. So the best thing to do to really get these things tight is sit on the edge of something, anything. And I know this is dark. Uh, I should probably be in the sun for this piece. But when you're sitting down, your hamstrings, your quads, your glutes, everything's nice and relaxed. Actually, you know what, Katie? Could you uh, I'm gonna sit right here in the sun? Just hold that for a second, and then I'll put it back. Yeah, just like that. Okay. It's probably better. So this leg band's on, right? But it's not nearly tight enough. I mean, I can get a bunch of fingers under there. Now, this is an older style leg band, but it's the exact same as same idea as if you have the brand new style or the old style. Relax your leg and then go ahead and get after it. Really cinch that thing down. Because you got so much muscle and tissue in your legs, you're you're not I mean, you're, you're not going to uh, uh, cut off arterial flow. It, it's not possible with these bands. So that's, that's on there good. I can get my finger under there, but man, that's tight. That's good. This side, same thing. Oh, yeah. Tight, but I can still get a finger under there, all right? They got to be snug on the legs, not nearly much tighter than when you put them on the arms. So that's first, we get them on the legs. All right, let's go ahead and put it back on the table here. Whoops, <laughs> that would have sucked if we dropped the left up. All right, the next piece is the cycle 2.0. Me personally, I like to start this thing on legs at higher pressure right out of the gate. So I put it on pro, and I'm gonna start on low, but only after I stick it on my belt and connect it. Boom, bam. Hey, if you guys haven't seen any of the videos uh, by Dr. Corey, um, 
we're gonna we're gonna send those to you uh, in a uh, in a, in a in another email. And, and actually, you might have already gotten a bunch of them from the Mailchimp uh, distro. Watch those things, Dr. Corey. He knows way more about the exercise physiology piece that's happening than I do. And he talks through it during those videos. So it's really valuable. So anyway, got the leg bands on. And I'm going to start at pro low. It's always good. It's always good to kind of start lower and work your way up, all right? So first thing we do is we make sure we're hydrated. If you haven't drank any water, go ahead, get some water. This is not coffee, it's not vodka. It's water. All right. Make sure you're hydrated anytime you're doing this stuff. First exercise we're going to do is we're going to walk for a couple minutes with a book. Yeah, go ahead and laugh, all my team guy friends. A book on your head. So we're really going to be working on core stability. The whole focus today is to create instability while we have the bands on. So you ready to do this, babe? All right. Pick a book, ideally a hardcover. Start my watch. And let's see, make sure you can see us. Get this thing out of the way. All right, guys. Go ahead, John. The entire team guy friends are going to give me so much crap. <laughs> All right, here we go. Bam. Just start walking. Start walking. Stephen, can you see Katie and I okay? Uh, Katie just walked out of the uh, picture. Katie but just you're... walked out of the picture. Okay. But, but her uh, I am but still your dog... in the picture. <laughs> your dog is there. There's... Uh, Katie is walking much That's more fluidly Cody. than you. Guys, we have, we have two dogs. We have Cody and we have Buck. And Sean just rescued. That's our 17-year-old. He just rescued a stray cat yesterday. So we now have a cat. Two dogs, three kids. COVID-19, complete lockdown. Okay, so this looks kind of goofy, but I'm telling you, and I'm not at that high of a pressure yet, but, it, but it's, I don't want to say it's hard, but I'm definitely focusing on stability. And that's the whole idea with this first exercise, core stability. That camera facing down far enough, Stephen? Or you, I need yeah, no, it, it's very it. fine. I, I see Katie uh, walking like a supermodel Look. very confidently, very smoothly. Katie's the supermodel, very confident, very smooth. What do and you have it, to say about me? Well, it looks like you're walking uh, in a haunted house and you're just about to be spooked by a ghost. He says, I look like I'm walking in a haunted house and I'm ready to be spooked. <laughs> Okay, that, that's because I can't do this. Yes. It's hard. <laughs> and, and, we, and we find that quite often, that females have a much better sense of uh, a balance and elegance uh -huh. than uh, many of us uh, older males, uh, which means this right, is I'll a very, two very, very good exercise. Um, uh, as you get hey, better- come over here. <laughs> as you get better and better <laughs> on this, um, and it may look simple, but actually, John, you're working much more fluidly now. Thank you. Now that you've brought my attention to how I look like I'm in a haunted house. Awesome. Yes. Yes. Uh, you want to you wanna walk with your shoulders back, if you can. Uh, shoulders back, Katie. Uh, arms loosely at your side as a normal gait. Oh, oh. God. There's, there's a fall. <laughs> it's That's okay. number three, I think. That's okay. All right, you ready? And Here we go, babe. Oh, it come, the camera. Yeah. Bam. See? You're oh, on a – there you go, John. Oh, there you okay. go. No problem. You're on a runway. <laughs> now, a lot yeah. of, now, a lot of people yeah. prefer this over doing planks 
uh, doing sit-ups or crunches. Uh, it's something anybody can do. Um, I'd rather do plates. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Three minutes. Yeah. Let's go for 20 more seconds. How you doing, Katie? Good. I just lost it. All right. All right. This is our backyard in St. Petersburg, Florida, by the way. Um, beautiful day. Okay, that's good. Yes. Let's lose the books. Yes. All right, next. I know I'm off screen. Yeah, so, John, so we, we want to remind we want to remind everybody that you could simply uh, go through one cycle, so eight steps, which is four minutes long. And uh, so if you can ba balance your book on your head for four minutes with the leg bands on, you will find not only is it very good workout for your hamstrings and, and uh, quadriceps, but also your core, your lower back, your stomach, et cetera. So it might be a little bit diff difficult in the beginning, but if you start off at the low pressure and, and uh, do it daily, it does wonders for your balance and core stability, as uh, John says. Okay, so guys, speaking of core stability, here's the next thing we're gonna do. If you have light weights, grab some light weights. If you don't have light weights, grab two soup cans. If you don't have soup cans, grab water bottles. Grab anything uh, that you can find um, that's uh, five pounds or less. Five pounds, I, I would say, is towards top end. Um, and then just set those off to the side because we're going to And balance on one leg. Sounds easy, right? Make sure that you, uh, if your cycle has stopped, like mine did, go ahead and go up to the next pressure. So I'm on pro medium now. Go ahead and balance on one leg. I just started stopwatch. Okay. Now, if that's easy for you, we're going to do this for three minutes. If that's easy for you, we're going to integrate some movements. If it's not easy for you, after a minute, take 20 seconds rest and then start again. As soon as you start to lose it, and you'll know because you'll feel everything start to shake in that weight-bearing leg, uh, then you can go ahead and take a 20-second rest. To create some instability, if you're having no problems, Go ahead and pump that left leg or whichever one you have in the air. Go ahead, give it some up, some down, to the side, some up, some down. We're at 48 seconds. Feels like it's been five minutes. Okay, some up, some down. Another really good one. It'll create, it, whoops, <laughs> it'll create instability, but it will open up your hips a little bit. Go ahead, leg up, and now don't let your foot go to the ground. Leg up, and now we're at a minute 15 right now. It, if you have um, some problems with this initially, you can hold on to a chair, uh, the wall, uh, something so you won't fall over, um, and you'll get the hang of it uh, over time. Uh, we do this a lot, especially with our uh, older uh, users, especially men in their 70s and yeah, 80s. we're adjusting. <laughs> hey, Stephen, we're doing making it two minutes instead of three, mainly because I can't do three. Sorry. Yes, yes. <laughs> and, yes. and uh, we got a uh, comment from Chris Morgan in Five more Boston. And, uh, and switch. Switch leg. He says, uh, Chris, who has very strong legs and very uh, good core stability, uh, he's in his 40s. He has, um, what he does is, John, when you're doing it, and he yep. can, has very good core stability, very good balance, he then retightens the bands simply to get it a little bit more difficult. So he's always challenging himself. But this is a, a, a younger man uh, who has very strong legs and very good uh, core stability. Whereas, for example, he's Mike, well, he's, he's, he's younger than you and me. Yeah. 
It's okay. probably, uh, but <laughs> that's in contrast to uh, my father, who's 84. So, you know, my father at 84, he has to build into these very, very uh, easily. He still uses the katsu for the pressure on the legs, but he'll be holding on to a chair or holding oh, yeah. on to the wall. Hey, Steve, can I interrupt real quick? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I just interrupt anyway. Um, the leg I'm on right now is the leg I had a total knee on, total knee replacement about seven uh, months ago. This is crazy good rehab, way more so than the other side. We got 45 more seconds. Go ahead, Steven. No, no, it's okay. Uh, there, there are people following you, so that's good. I'm starting to lose it. This is my weaker leg. I'm starting to lose it. So I'm going to take a rest for a second. And that's always okay. No need to uh, just push yourself as much as you, you would like. All right. It's like day two of Hell Week. <laughs> Ten more seconds. And John mentioned Hell Week. For those of you who don't know, uh, it's uh, six days of uh, almost no sleep for his uh, Navy SEAL the training. Okay. Pick up those soup cans or those lightweights. I'm going to pick up uh, five pounders. Katie's going to pick up some soup cans. Is Katie on screen, Stephen? I can't yes, Stephen. yes, yes. Okay. All right. So, guys, same idea. Uh, starting to stop watch over. We're going to go two minutes on each leg. Only this time, it's not just about uh, – uh, stability, right? This, or uh, it's not just about balancing on one leg. It's about creating as much stability as possible. So we're going to take these weights while we're on one leg and one arm at a time, we're going to go out to 90 and then on the other, and then we'll go at 45 and then the other, and then we'll go straight out in front and then the other, and then we'll go ahead and punch up slow and then the other, and then we'll try some you know, these glued ham, which I can't do that well anyway, but for those that are feeling pretty advanced, trying to kick that heel back and keep it in line with your, your spine. So we ready to go? All right, here we go. Pick up whatever lightweight you got. Two minutes, start with the right leg. Here we go. All right, so right arm out to 90, left arm, out to 90, you can feel it immediately, the stability aspect. Right arm up to 45, left arm 45, right arm straight out in front, left arm straight out in front, right arm slowly punch it up, left arm slowly punch it up. Go ahead and try to bend at the waist if you can. If this is too much, don't worry about it. Tight. Yeah, keep that core tight. And then go ahead and let's do it again. Right arm up to the side, left arm up to the side. Right arm to 45. Arm to 45. <laughs> right job, arm John. straight out in the front. Yeah. Right arm straight out in the front. Right arm slowly punch it up. Left arm slowly punch it up. That's a little over a minute. Go ahead, bend it the waist. Come nice. back up. Good job, John. Okay, there we go. If, if you don't right have uh, weights, you could always grab a water bottle. If a full water bottle is, is too difficult, right. then fill it up only halfway, and that's too difficult. Just uh, have an empty water bottle. Um, or just I, have nothing at all. Just right. Doing it just with your arms. Yes. David Brand uh, asked a question. Is, uh, is this on cycle mode or is it on static yes. or training mode? So it is oh, on cycle. I can never cycle. do this on training. Yeah. It's on cycle. Yeah. So it's okay. 30 seconds on, Ten five seconds. seconds off. That's what he's on. Okay. All right. That was two seconds less than two minutes. All right. Shake it out. John, what, uh, what level are you on on your cycle mode? Are you on group or pro? <laughs> The irony is I was just on pro nothing. I had oh. no pressure. So now <laughs> I'm on now I'm on pro high. Uh-uh. Here we go. 
All right, you ready, babe? All right, here we go. Two minutes. Other leg, same thing. Up to the side, up to the side. I'm on pro high now. You might be able to hear that pump compressor working in the background. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is my knee replacement leg. Let's see how long. Ooh. Try to bend over. <laughs> nice. Oh god. Fail. At 35 seconds. All right. Again, guys, I, I'm I'm trying to make this as, as hard as possible, but everybody's difficult and hard level is different, right? You know, I can obviously handle a lot more on my right leg, the one that they didn't put a bunch of metal in. But on this leg, I'm really struggling. I keep tapping my toe because I want to fall over. It's a minute and five seconds. All right, 50 seconds left. Whoa! That'd be awesome, Stephen, if I fell over and you caught it on YouTube. Yes, we, we are I'm recording tired of this feel. Can't stand. <laughs> okay, punch it up slow. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> you doing it? Yeah, okay. All right. Getting close. 20 more seconds. John, we have one of our um, users here, uh, Linda from uh, yep. Long Beach, California, and she's a uh, hula dancer. Um, that would be tough on the legs, <laughs> for sure. On that one, check it out, guys. Yeah, Linda, the hula, you said hula dancer? Yes. I think she'd be way better at this than me. <laughs> John, and you're, All you're right, we're going to adjust a little bit. Yeah. John, you're frequently yeah, uh, hydrating, and that's very, very good. We always want to be uh, very hydrated hydrated. when we're doing katsu. Uh, little All right, guys, water grab in between. A, oh, sorry, Stephen. Go ahead. Yeah, no, no, just telling people that remind them to hydrate well. Yep. All right, if you got a towel, grab a towel. If you got a pad, grab a pad. If you got carpet, grab a carpet. We're just going to lay on our sides. And uh, I think probably the best way uh, for me to do this. All right, Steve, I'm going to need a little help here. Can you see Katie and I for right here? Yes. Uh, uh, and <laughs> and your Cody. dog, Cody. All right. You can act, um, you actually, you can come closer. Um, come a little closer. Did I skip it? Yeah, yeah. You can oh, go. yeah, we forgot planks. Man, what am I thinking? All right, good, good heads up. Katie, we haven't done planks. Same thing, grab a piece of towel, grab a pad, whatever. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, the stopwatch going. All right, guys, what we're going to do, 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Then we're going to do 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to do 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And then we start right back into it. So we're going to go through that three times. You ready? ready. All right. Planks. Katie does them on her hands because she's better than me. I do them on my elbows. Ready? Go. You see me, Steven? Yes. All right. Looks good, right? Perfect. Perfect. Straight back. You're a, you're a, you're a former swimmer, so your body position is great. It's not butt up. Yeah. It's not butt down. Let's try to be nice and straight. Katie can do it on her arms. That's, that's a little tougher. She's better than me. All right, 30 seconds. Take a rest. Go ahead, get on your knees, stretch those hip flexors out a little bit, shake it out. All right, three, two, one, and go. All right, 20 seconds. So remember, this is a systemic response, right? So 10 more seconds. You 
you should really be focusing on everything in your body, not just distal of the band. All right, hold on, and to your knees. Ten seconds to rest. Okay, five. Here we go, and begin. This one's only 10 seconds. Fire your glutes, release. Fire your glutes, release. Fire your glutes, release. Two more seconds, and rest. If that's too easy for you, you can lift one leg at a time. This next one's 30 seconds. Here we go. Again, go ahead and uh, lift your right leg if you can. Put it down slow. Lift your left leg. Put it down slow. Lift your right leg. Put it down slow. Left leg. Put it down slow. All right, 10 more seconds. Systemic response, cross transfer is affecting everything in your body right now. So focus on everything, glutes, chest, abs, rest. 10 seconds. This looks a lot easier on paper. Okay, two more seconds. Here we go. All right, 20 seconds on this one. Same thing, if it's too easy for you, move around a little bit. Your legs laterally if you want. 10 more seconds. Woo. You're doing these too, right, Stan? Or are you just sitting there doing the admin part? Yes, I'm uh, yeah. doing the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Five seconds. We got a 10 second, then we got one more round. Ready, go. How about you, Chris? Are you doing these? I know you're doing these, right? Uh, Chris is our uh, cuts master specialist in Boston. Um, he's, uh, I'm uh, multitasking. I'm doing cycles right now as I answer emails. I'm calling them out one by one. All right, ready? Go. Okay, but I know Richard's doing this. He definitely is doing this. He would not miss this for the world. <laughs> Woo. 20 seconds. I'm not uh, lifting my legs anymore. I'm not trying to flex anything. I'm just trying to survive now. Ten more seconds. Ooh, I had to go deep. If you're really good, you can restart while you're in the plank position. Bam. Four, three, two, one. Ten seconds off. Good job, Cody. Okay, five more seconds. John, how do your legs feel? Your quads. So, uh, quads are shaking. Uh, glutes are shaking. Calves feel fine. Um, Ten more seconds. Um, ironically, shoulders scap like the back that holds your shoulder blades. I take rest for ten. Um, really working my back, even though that's not distal of bands. Five more seconds. All right, guys. Last one. Ten seconds. Ready? Go. Does that answer your question, Stephen? Yes, thank you. Two, one, relax. All right, everybody grab, <laughs> grab a drink of water. Woo. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, for okay, those of you who are, of uh, this actually is a lot harder than it looks. Um, uh, so yeah, if, you. if you put your pressure low, uh, and then shorten the time periods, it's fine. Um, we developed, uh, these programs for a variety of people and we always adapt to what it is. Um, uh, our workouts range from the Olympic and pro and collegiate athletes all the way down to, um, you know, people who are, uh, paraplegic wounded warriors oh, man. and limbs. All right, John, go at it. Well, paraplegic, sir. You ready to go? All right, we're going to do 30 on each side, 20 on each side, 10 on each side. Try to, uh, you can do this a couple ways. You can, you can lay all the way on your side and rest on your bicep. I like to be up on my elbow a little bit. Try not to lean forward. Try not to lean back. Try to keep all straight. You probably see me fall, start falling apart towards the end of the 20 set. Let's go ahead and do 30. Ready? Begin. One, two. You got it? So, 
like a lot of things with Tatsu, the first set of 30, 40, 50, you know, when you're just priming the pump, usually not that hard. Um, unless you've already been doing something else katsu wise with that uh with that limb, which we obviously have been. Oh well mine's starting to hurt. What are we on? Yeah. All right, twenty-three. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> and oh gosh, okay. Go ahead and switch. Other side. No rest for the rear. And you ready? All right, begin. One. Two, three, four, five. So, something uh, Stephen mentioned a little earlier, and I usually do this after the first cycle of whatever you're doing. Chris mentioned it, is sitting down and re-tightening the bands because the bands will kind of shift as you're moving, and you want to re-tighten it. You want this base pressure. Pretty significant. That's my six. But hey, I think I had them tight enough because I can't even do this. All right, switch to the other side. All right, this one's going to be 20, guys. Oh, hey, make sure you're not kinking the hoses. Let's get that. All right, ready? And begin. Got a little surprise for you for the set of 10. How you doing, Steven? How they how these working on you? How's, it's how's very the abductors good. feeling? Uh, uh, mine are, are fine. I'm, I'm sitting up straight and uh, managing the screen as I'm doing my <laughs> cuts. <laughs> he's, he's sitting in a chair. He's, <laughs> he's managing. He's All right, here we go. Going the other side. Swing my pick. Okay. John, I'm, uh, I'm writing the workout yeah. down uh, in the chat room so everybody could have it, okay. see it. So. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, okay. All right, here's your surprise, guys. Go ahead. At pressure. Oh, mine's not there yet. Wait for it to get to pressure. Untether. So he's taking them off. Velcro it up out of the way. Velcro it up out of the way. Turn the cycle off. Set it aside. Katie's still waiting for hers to blow up conveniently. <laughs> this is Buck. Buck's good at catching tennis balls. Okay. All right. Okay, you ready? All right, guys. We're doing... 10 on each side, last two are slow. These are gonna suck. Ready? On my count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, up slow, slow, slow. Hold it there, down slow, up slower. This is number 10, hold it there, hold it there. Hold it there. Oh God. And that's not even nearly high enough. All right, switch to the other side. Do as I say, not as I do. Go higher. Doing 10. Ready? Begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Eight. Here's number the first slow. Slow up, 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 up. Hold it. Uh, don't cheat like I am. Down slow. Holy cow. One more slower. Hold it. Ah, this is way better at this than me. And, oh, okay. Roll over to your back. We're still in untethered mode. Try not to step on your cycle. We're going right into some glue ridges. We'll keep it short because, uh, I'm about done. All right, so we're gonna go fire your glutes. All right, glute bridge doing 10, three sets 10. Ready? Begin. On my count, up, one, up, squeeze your knees together like I'm not, up, 
This is so much harder with Katsu on. One more. Okay, rest. Steven, you can go ahead and talk if you want. <laughs> no problem. I'm just admiring your uh, tenacity, uh, your resilience. My tenacity and resilience, that's fine. All right, here we go. Knees together. Ready, begin. Up. And up. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Okay, the last one we're doing five. Any complaints with that? Didn't think so. Here we go. Ready? Begin. Up one. Up two. Up three. Up four. And then this last one up. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze, squeeze. Yeah. And down slow. And the most important part of the day, let the air out of your leg bands. And take them off. And most importantly, take care of your kit. Take care of your gear. Don't just take these things off and throw them off to the side. Take them very neatly. If you take care of these, they'll last forever. This is an older set of bands. Steven had for a couple of years. I've had them for three years. When they get dirty, I rinse them off with warm, soapy water. And after every time I use them, take care of them, I put them away. Okay, so a couple of things. Okay. Here, sorry. A um, couple things, if I could think. Um, right now, let's see. I'll go out here so you can see me there. Oh, we we can see right. you fine, John. Okay. So right now, if we did biomarkers on me, if we measured my plasma lactate levels, if we measured my growth hormone levels. We measured my insulin growth uh, 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 factor um, associated with, you know, uh, diabetes markers, you know, IGF-1, HB, uh, A1C markers. If we measured VEGF, vascular endothelial growth factor, if we measured all of those right now on myself or any of you, they'd be anywhere from two to 800% higher than normal. And here's the takeaway. Can you get that with traditional exercise and weight training? Absolutely, you can. But can you get that with traditional training with little to no resistance or no weights or in Katie's case, soup cans or five pounds? For me, there's no way. There's the only way you can do that. And like we talked about last time, this is the only way known in exercise science to fire both, oh, there we go, to fire both, type one slow twitch fibers and type two fast twitch fibers at the same time. Because as soon as we put those leg bands on, we go anaerobic. We go, uh, I'm sorry, we go hypoxic state. So as soon as you go into a hypoxic state, your body has to react and it reacts with lactate and it reacts by firing type two muscle fibers or quick twitch fibers. And, and that's all been proven through muscle biopsies during and immediately after cuts, so it's incredible. Um, we got Ben Greenfield podcast coming out in a little while. And then as part of that, we got a really cool article that's got all this research linked into it. You guys will love it. Steven, you got anything? No, Before I was just going to, I just asked everybody if um, uh, the, anybody has any questions. Um, if you have any questions, you can send them in the chat room or unmute yourself and just uh, introduce yourself and where you're, where you're from and you ask your question. Um, uh, alternatively, we are recording and archiving this uh, session as we do all the sessions. So if uh, you have interest, we can send it out to you individually. If you give us your email or we're going to post it on our katsublog.com. So, all right, guys. Katie and I got our workout for today. We're great. Good. Thank you very much. Uh, John, one other thing. You got a shout out from... Uh, uh, 
Bill Brom from Honolulu, oh, nice. a, uh, nice. a, a fellow on, Navy SEAL who says uh, he didn't even break a sweat. So just put a little pressure on you. Oh, thanks, Will. Thanks, yes. man. I feel, I, feel, yes. I feel great now. Yes. And, and we had another question. Um, what are the um, yeah. settings that most people should do or what we advise? Um, our answer to that is you should put the settings that are appropriate to you and the exercise. So some of you, perhaps on the arms, uh, the pressure would be lower. Others, the pressure on the legs would be higher. So perhaps some of you on the arms are doing the group settings, which are the lower settings. And perhaps some of you on your legs are a little bit stronger and you start at the pro setting. We always recommend that you start out at a lower setting and then go low, medium, and high. Or if you find a setting that's, that's good for you, keep it there. So if, if, a, if a group medium is appropriate for you, go ahead and do the group medium. We have done uh, lots of testing. The very good thing about katsu, especially for people, uh, let's say, over the age of, of 20, basically, uh, where we've measured 460 metabolites before and after katsu, whether we do a vigorous workout with katsu or a, a mild stretching yoga type of workout with a katsu, the difference in the metabolites, the, 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 the absolute amount is not that much. So in other words, you don't have to hit it vigorously hard to produce a good amount of healing hormones and metabolites. You can do you know, a, a, a nice, comfortable uh, session of katsu. And where you can push yourself or where you want to push yourself, go ahead and go for it. Um, so again, the answer to your question, what settings are appropriate or recommended, it's really, truly up to you. Uh, the only thing that we want people to do or recommend is actually when you put the bands on, make sure that you can put 